My name is Rajni Pereira. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Toronto is an immigrant city. I'm an immigrant artist. I don't like being called a Canadian artist. Um, and I work in all mediums. And uh, the subject matter that's at the center of m most of the work is uh, diasporic futures and building the world required and necessary around that idea. The series showed up when the time came to use science fiction as a way to talk about the creation of identity or identities going forward. There are parts about the world today that are very science fiction, not to remove yourself from the harsh reality of it, but dystopian prediction occurring right now. In the beginning, it was a series of paintings where I was wanting to, to talk about a, a fully hybridized future person. As I build this identity, I realize how much more there is attached to that the clusters of communities that form around this idea of like, of per, you can't, the idea of personhood doesn't stand aside. It's created inside a identity biome or ecosystem that forms, you know, what we know as an immigrant person today. In some cases, you're three generations removed from a first generation arrival you're still considering yourself to be an immigrant as a result of sociological conditions. See, when you world build, you're going to think about the history of a present that you're building. So when I make Traveler Universe, which is, don't get it twisted, it's, it's Earth, um, and all the kind of atrocities that are kind of hiding inside these elaborately made paintings and sculptures, you have to also simulate the conditions that would allow a present like that to happen, right? So these would be some of the first off-worlders, brown off-worlders that have gone to another place and then travelers, the travelers evolve from them and other ancestors because someone had to go somewhere first, you know, and in, in a lot of immigrant communities or climate refugee communities, there's someone who went first, then they make the phone call. Technology that I make around the same, very same world building exercise, a lot of it has imagined magical properties. And for me, technology and the stuff that we use today, like there's some of it that either it comes from a place of magic, magical thinking, or it, the results of it are already intensely magical. So there's some medical equipment and the stuff that it does that's like, that's magic. I wanted to do a person riding a horse and we couldn't find a taxidermed horse to do this with because the families that would taxiderm their prize show horses don't end up selling them. So then myself and my excellent technician, Emily Woodenberg, start researching how we're gonna now synthesize a horse. We used a taxidermy form, which now is used by taxidermists to to cover it with, with the hide of the animal itself. And we proceeded to modify the, um, the form of it and then use several different hair transfer techniques learned from animatronics and special effects experts from movies and television uh, and mix a whole bunch of different techniques together to come up with post horse. So post horse is a six-eyed, beautiful stallion of the future. And this post horse is, is taking a, a traveler through a, a dangerous and toxic landscape. The toxic landscape has been put together uh, between myself and Matthew Gale, who is an artist that Gavin Wade introduced me to here in Birmingham. And he makes work together with fungi communities. The mural at Highgate is a scene of many travelers, um, I'd say about two families together, moving through a flood. Uh, we did it on the east bank, on the east bank of the River Ray. And uh, Balsall Heath, after looking at many different sites throughout the city extensively, 
Um, Balsall Heath struck me as a community that was the closest to the ones that I've grown up in, which are intensely varied ethnically and, you know, several different communities living together to form, form a new community uh, with a different set of values than what we would have and a different way of moving through one another's homes and businesses and streets. Uh, I think it's very important that the murals in, in Balsall Heath because this is a story about immigrants and that's an immigrant community.